I see this exhibition as a decolonizing project, which aims to sort of decenter the prominence of the Euro-American art world. But as I began my field work, I just began to see this very rich mosaic of ideas about time and history began to unfold. And as the exhibition took shape, I knew I just really wanted to have some artists in residence. And so eventually I could see that, that the artists I were meeting, certain ones would really work well here and also create a kind of vibrant living quality to really infuse the entire exhibition with this dose of creativity and temporal imagination that can only be had by, I think, artists inhabiting the gallery spaces. And also, it's a really great opportunity for students to work with artists. But Jae Yong, you know, his, his interest in narrative and its layering with history really fit in well as a kind of creative narrative around this mythical creature that he was working with. And the same goes with um, Tomoko, who is very interested in ancient Japan, this kind of primordial world of nature where humans and the animal world were one. And for her commission, she actually created a mythological map of Kansas. And then also Sahaj, in many ways, is very interested in this kind of mythic universe, albeit flowing a lot from his own kind of personal creations. And after talking with him, you know, he was so interested in science fiction, which was something, an abiding interest of my own, and I know that Rohini was too, and Rohini's sort of science-art relationship, beginning first with biology, and then her more recent interest in astronomy, which is evinced in Parts Unknown, the large wall mural that she did. The exuberance of having all of this site-specific work is it, it's evinced in how the work spills out of the galleries, like Tomoko installing her sculpture not only in Marvin Grove, but in the Natural History Museum, and Sahaj making this beautiful sculptural installation in the front of the museum. And I know that uh, Rohini was so excited to work on these immense new walls that were created in the renovation. They each, I think, responded very nicely to the spaces that they were given. And I would just encourage people to not be too tied up in trying to understand the precise cultural meaning, perhaps, behind where these artists are coming. But it's fine to bring your own personal story to, uh, to its understanding. And I just want viewers to feel the enjoyment that we all have gotten from being involved in this exhibition and perhaps inspire them to learn more.